Hi guys and welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry and today we're looking at the Apple TV. I uh, purchased it today from Officeworks near uh, my end of the woods in uh, Australia, Melbourne, Victoria. Now, I got a pretty good price. Generally, they go for around $130 Australian. Uh, I got it for about $105. I had a friend who had a discount card with Officeworks, so they gave me 20% off all close to that anyway so just unwrapping it here it's got the plastic on here it comes up pretty easily and quickly from as you can see um, so yeah I'm just gonna unbox it so you can get an idea of what's in here so I should be opening it up this way but I'm gonna open it this way so you can sort of see yeah yeah Apple stickers Apple TV pamphlet uh, pretty much tells you what you get in there uh, you've got the AC cable, you've got the Apple TV, and you've got the Apple remote. Uh, little other bits of information like configuring and so forth. Um, you've got the most likely warranty, I think. But anyway, boring stuff. Let's get to the real, real good stuff. And here it is, the Apple TV. Wrapped up nicely in the nice crisp plastic that they put. Just pull that off there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's nice. Oh wow, this has got... Okay, it's alright. That's cool, that's cool. I was just wondering what that was. A little bit of stain there, but it's okay. It wipes off, so... Um, yeah, and now that. Wow, look at that. Oops, I'll just show you guys. Yeah, yeah. Very sexy, very nice. Happy with that. Um, so here it is. Just looking at it. Nice, shiny, very light, um, but yet yeah, feels like it has some weight to it. I mean, that's sort of a weird thing to say. <laughs> it's light, but feels like it has weight to it. Feels uh, solid, but it's not very heavy. So you could even carry this around with you in your bag. But um, Power, obviously. Uh, bring it up a bit closer so you can sort of see. Um, all right. There we are. HDMI up there, as you can see. USB here. Um optical audio and this would be your network connection um, now I've been told and I sort of knew this but I don't know why it didn't click I was worried about the optical output because I'm already using another device that has that and I was worried that there may be an issue uh, how to get audio but I forgot um, yeah HDMI provides audio out as well so if you have a TV which does take HDMI, which most do these days, um, you'll be able to just plug this in and get uh, direct audio out as well. It'd be really cool if this could run on batteries, man. You could just sort of... Anyway, that doesn't really matter. I mean, it makes it portable, you know. But these days, it's not that bad. Now, looking at the remote, standard Apple remote. Actually, it's quite... I don't have one of these. I've got the uh, older one from my old Mac. <laughs> which is pretty cool, I never really use. <laughs> um, oh yeah, open that up. This is so thin and beautiful. Wow, the design on this. The design on this, look at that. This is gorgeous. I, I just think it's brilliant. <laughs> very, very sexy. Um, I'm guessing aluminium, or for you Yanks, aluminum. Um, wow, yeah, it's just really nice. Buttons are really cool too, wow. Really nice, really, 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 really nice. Okay, what else is there? Let's have a look. Pop that out. Okay, and the cable. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Um, okay, what I just did was by pressing the remote, it registered on my Mac and did something weird. Okay, I'm back now. And this is the uh, power cable, and this is what's so fantastic about it. I wasn't really sure as to whether uh, this was going to be a bulky transformer here to. Um, you know convert the power I'm guessing but this you know obviously it just plugs right in and there's nothing bulky the uh, the plug is a standard plug nothing crazy um, and yeah that's pretty much about it so you're gonna need your own HDMI cable if you do get this um, to, to plug in but other than that there's nothing really else it's got a nice sort of again it's that weird rubbery feeling that Apple tends to use across some of their products but it's a really nice feel you know it's pretty grippy sort of popping it down yeah it feels well feels good
Um, nice and shiny. Uh, there's not really much to it, I guess. Maybe I'll plug it in and let you guys uh, see how it all just sort of works. Okay, guys, we're back now and it's configured. Well, logged onto my network. And let's just have a quick look at the Apple TV. So, you basically got, as you can see here, just your menu, selecting language and so forth, and you can reset it. Now, I basically got this just so that I can connect my iPad and my phone so I can wirelessly stream stuff from it like YouTube or Justin TV or whatever I happen to be watching. So I'll set that up and then just show you guys how that looks as well. Hi guys, okay finally I got it working. I had to put in my uh, details for the wireless connection to my router, my username and password. Also the thing is I had to do an update in order to get mirroring to work so finally got it there. Now I'm just in the uh, movie section where you can actually buy or rent should I say films. I'm just using the remote that comes with it as you can see here. I'm just jumping between their settings and so forth all that stuff. Um, what I really want to show though is the iPad here and connecting it. Now Basically, to just get this to mirror, which is what I'm wanting to do, is you double tap here, you scroll across, and you'll see here the um, icon. Bring it as close as I can. Hit that, and then you choose Apple TV and mirroring. That might be off, you just turn it on. And as you'll be able to see there, there we go, zoom in a bit. Now it shows, doesn't fill the whole screen, but you are able to uh, sort of see what's going on here, and you can swipe across and these are my apps but here's a real cool thing about this so just double tap and I've got a few things here but we'll go into this is my YouTube site stuff you should buy obviously you'll know that because you're watching the video from here um, and say I want to watch a YouTube video or whatever so if I just sort of pick one this is a Southland Apple store where it was opening where I had gone we'll just hit play and from the iPad itself I can select full screen. Now it sort of does a bit of a buffer but it loads as you can see and I think this should be playing at 720p but it might actually be a little bit lower the resolution. One thing I have noticed is though I'm trying to control the volume from here from the iPad and it doesn't seem to uh, to make a difference so that's one thing to note. I don't know whether it's just because uh, the particular with the uh, the uh, browser that I'm using because I'm, I'm running this through the browser um, no, the Safari browser sorry on the iPad so I don't know if whether using uh, one of the other apps will make a difference let's just double tap here actually we'll go out of that return back to the uh, screen we'll hit TED TV and see if that makes a difference this is TED TV here it shows that on my iPad 2. See, I couldn't. There's no iPad 2 app for it. This is actually for the iPhone, but I'm using it on the iPad, so I don't know why it's showing it this way. Um, you can't get the full uh, side titles, but anyway, uh, we'll just hit anything here anyway and just see what happens. Um, so we select this, hit play. Now I found with this, it, it doesn't go full screen. Um, even though I'm I'm tapping up here the full screen, it won't do it. It'll sort of zoom in and out a little bit, but that's it. So I guess depending on what app you're using and what you're using it for, it'll show. But that's still not too bad, as you can see there. So I'll just stop that and go back out. Um, playing games, I have got HD Tennis. See how that goes. See how it shows up. Oh yeah, we'll see. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so it doesn't show any other way I can make it larger. So, oops. But yeah, you get the message. Uh, yeah, you can see here it basically isn't too bad. I'll try and surf. Uh, if I can remember how to play this. Oh, no, nah, missed. But anyway, um, so it um, as I'm turning the iPad, it actually turns with it. So that's interesting. Uh, just to come out of that. So that's pretty much using AirPlay really and with the uh, iPad 2. Now if you wanted to close it down you just double tap 
goes straight across here at the bottom and you'll see this little icon and you can be mirroring or not mirroring so if we turn mirroring off this will disappear obviously and go back turn it on and you can also switch directly back to the iPad itself instead of the Apple TV which will get rid of that so that's pretty much it I mean that's the real main reason I got this for it's not so much to rent movies but who knows I may give that a try in the future I hope I've uh, provided enough info if you like what you've seen please give me a thumbs up if uh, you have any questions just uh, pop them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you if you like the rest of the stuff I got on here uh, on this channel subscribe thanks for listening guys all the best